11 cars you need to avoid. With car prices being extraordinarily high right now, we thought you'd appreciate a heads up on cars you shouldn't buy. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homer Guy, and author of Is That the Best You Can Do? You have arrived at the home of super high intensity training for car buyers. Today, I'm joined by the amazing Elizabeth as we share some of the vehicles that you should avoid. 2020 models still on the lot or available as used cars already traded in. It's a very short time. People discovered that they didn't like these vehicles very much. As our followers know, the Homework Guy channel prepares car buyers with homework and research to do before the sale. We give you excellent car buying strategies and let you know what to be aware of. Well, today's video is no exception. These are 11 car models from 2020 you're going to want to pass on. That's right. Car prices are high enough. As I said, who needs to get burned by a lemon too? That's why we're giving you a heads up on which vehicle experts are saying that you should definitely avoid purchasing and we agree with them. The truth is, just because a car is new doesn't mean it's a great vehicle and some manufacturers definitely miss the mark. Let's start with the Chevy Colorado, base MSRP 21.5. This is not a bad looking truck and it's reportedly one of the most fuel efficient pickups you can buy, but that's where the praise ends. Customer satisfaction ratings have been in steady decline for five straight years. The latest version is uncomfortable as a result of an awkward steering wheel and seat position. It also gives the passengers a pretty noisy and rough ride. While it tows almost four tons and has some of the latest technology in it, most consumers say the trade-off with the uncomfortable ride isn't worth it. The Acura MDX with a base MSRP of 44.3. Well, the price of this vehicle seems a little bit steep for a car that is not known for being very reliable. It's ranked number 28 out of 30 vehicles based on reliability, according to Consumer Reports. And the funny part is, is that the MDX is actually one of the nicer models that Acura puts out. Yeah. While the vehicle does have third row seating and brags about being a family vehicle, that doesn't seem to offset the low reliability scores. Who wants to get stuck on the roadside with their family? Here's the Chrysler Pacifica, base MSRP 33745. The Chrysler Pacifica fails to rank in the top 10 best-selling minivans. There aren't a lot of features in the vehicle that excite people very much. And for any of you who are already aware that vehicles rapidly depreciate, well, the Chrysler Pacifica does a terrible job of holding its resale value. And always has done a terrible job. Right. So add low reliability ratings to this vehicle, and I recommend moving on to something else. To be honest, I've never liked the styling of this vehicle either. <laughs> no, I haven't been a fan of the Chrysler Pacifica either. Next up, the Buick Regal, base MSRP, 25,370. They still make those? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> it's been redesigned though. Okay. Considering how long the Buick Regal has been around, and as I said, it's got a redesign here of late, this is a pretty good buy for the money. However, the interior doesn't have much to offer and it's made from fairly cheap looking materials. A lot of the technology is old. It has a uncharacteristically uncomfortable ride, not what you're used to in a Buick. Mm -hmm. Anyway, a bit taller guy like me or just anybody taller than average will feel very cramped in this Buick Regal. The cherry on the top, if you call it a cherry, is that the Regal gets below average fuel economy. Oh. <laughs> and it has been subject to safety recalls for driver and passenger seat frames. So let somebody else deal with the headaches. This was a very comfortable and reliable car back in the day. It was a great sedan, but... I recommend you pass on the newly designed Buick Regal. Next is the Kia Stinger, the base MSRP of 33090. This sharp looking car did well on the exterior and it had some bragging rights initially with the high rankings from JD Power, but then consumers discovered that it gets really bad gas mileage. Very bad gas mileage. The rear seats are about as comfortable as sitting in your own glove box. <laughs> and unless you're accustomed to riding on a stagecoach, you won't like the fact that you feel every single bump in this car. So while it might look nice and sporty, that's where the nice ends. You won't feel too sporty after getting bounced around in this car. I give it a thumbs down. So have you ridden in a stagecoach? <laughs> yes. All right. Here's one in the lower price range, the Mitsubishi Mirage. It's base MSRP, $13,995. So it starts with a low price tag, but you're absolutely going to get what you pay for with this vehicle. The little three-cylinder engine that it has, it's quite gutless. You'll think you have a couple of squirrels working for you under the hood. <laughs> the car also handles very poorly. And even at this low price, there are plenty of other decent options out there. Consumer Reports actually wrote a very comical description of the Mirage's road handling results, saying it ranks laughably low. And they described the interior of the car as depressing. 
and made out of drag, cheap, and unsubstantial materials. Well, they put it very nicely, actually, but <laughs> quite funny. So how's that a stamp of approval from Consumer Reports? Just skip this vehicle. You can do better with something else. Here's the Jeep Renegade, base MSRP 22275. I'm not a fan of this body style. I think it looks a bit like an ugly duckling. The Jeep Renegade is a gas guzzler, and that's not good with gas prices going up every other day. Not at all. So here's the proof in the pudding. Less than half the people who bought a Jeep Renegade said they would consider buying one again. Unlike other Jeeps, it handles very poorly, gives you a rough ride, and it's generally uncomfortable. It's not even a good off-roading vehicle. If you are thinking about the Jeep Renegade, consider a Toyota RAV4 or a Honda CRV instead. They're in the same price range, you get a lot more for your money, and they hold their value much better. Just say no to Jeep Renegade. And that's really unfortunate because yeah. I've driven a lot of Jeep vehicles and really enjoyed them, but not this one. Yep. Next, we have the Volkswagen Golf, base MSRP 23195. The Golf has a very sporty ride feel, but after that bit of fun wears off, you won't like this car for very long. <laughs> after you've made multiple trips to the shop to get it fixed, who wants a bunch of repair bills on their new car? So while the driving experience might be fun, you can do a lot better with other vehicles that have far better longevity. Cross the Volkswagen Golf off your list of potential vehicles. Next up, the Chevy Traverse. The base MSRP is 29800 The Traverse was Chevy's offering after the Buick Enclave came out, but the problem is the two vehicles are way too close to being the same. The Traverse lacks engine power for its size and has had problems with its transmission. If that wasn't bad enough news for you, the electronics also have issues. Most of the competition for the Chevy Traverse has much better looking interiors at comparable prices. So even if the Traverse looks tempting, move on to something else. I agree. A surprise addition to this list is the Honda Odyssey. It's been long known to be a great vehicle. Well, the base MSRP, 30,190, who would have thought that it would ever get low scores? As you may recall, they redesigned this vehicle in 2018. Sadly, that was kind of the downfall because it introduced a ton of problems and bugs and issues that Honda just hasn't figured out how to deal with yet. So if you're sure you wanted a Honda Odyssey, buy one that was built in 2018 or prior the 2019 and 2020 models are no-goes. Believe me, you won't like the tech glitches with the infotainment system and the problems they're having with their power doors. Add to this, and it has uh, braking performance issues and faulty airbags. Wow, does that sound great, huh? Yeah. And how much more do you want to know before you decide that the Honda Odyssey isn't a very great vehicle after their 2018 model? Last but not least, the Lincoln Nautilus. Base MSRP is 41040 and it's admittedly a nice driving vehicle with better than average handling. The, but the pluses seem to stop there. The styling of the vehicle creates some rear visibility issues and it has an outdated gear shifting mechanism. It does come equipped with a powerful V6 turbo engine and all the interior luxuries that Lincoln is known for, but all of its competition has higher reliability ratings. We talk about reliability a lot here on the Hobart Guide channel for right. a couple of reasons. First, who wants to have their vehicle in the shop all the time? And secondly, people spend a lot of wasted dollars on extended warranties and service plans, and mostly for vehicles they shouldn't have bought one for in the first place. Right. You don't need any of that stuff when you buy good cars that last. So don't buy the Lincoln Nautilus. That's what I always buy. Good cars that last. That's our list for the day. I hope you enjoyed it. If you happen to own one of the vehicles that we discussed today, well, feel free to comment down below and share your thoughts on it. By doing so, everyone becomes a smarter car buyer through shared experiences. If you appreciated hearing our list of vehicles that you probably shouldn't buy, consider giving us that great big thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Include hashtag the homework guy and look for us on any of your favorite social media platforms out there. There's a list appearing now on the screen and they're linked in the description box today. And if you love what we do and want to contribute with a tip, the PayPal and Cash App links that you see here will be easy to find in that description box down below. But no problem if you can't do a tip. Liz, what's the best way for our viewers to help us out. Hey, help us get the word out. You want your family and friends to be lucky just like you, right? So put this video up so others can see it too and encourage them to subscribe. Ring that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. We're here to represent car buyers and that's what we do. Thanks everyone for coming back. We'll see you on our next video. You guys rock. I'm Kevin Hunter here today with the amazing Elizabeth. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.